Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Revealed. Some traditional rulers collect money from headsmen to graze their cattle. People have been digging deep into the headsmen manic. Some has discovered that some headsmen actually pay some huge sum of money to traditional rulers before permitting them or permission was granted to them to graze their animals. It was revealed that the headsmen are more ruthless in communities where they pay to graze their animals and they don't normally leave even when forced to go. In most cases, the deal is normally done by the allergy who owns the cows and then the headsmen can move into the community once a fee known as land rent renters has been paid. The money is not even given directly to the cattle rearer. Headsman, it was further revealed that the land rental for cattle grazing is actually a contract agreement for a period of time and can expire once the period of agreement is usually over. Those who carry out this research in Benue and Delta State said the headsmen usually become aggressive when they are prevented from making maximum use of the land they paid for. The truth is that most subjects do not know that their kings have actually rented the land, the grazing land to headsmen because they normally keep such deals secret. However, some headsmen in the middle belts were informed that Utana Dan Fodo has conquered the whole region for his Fulani people, and hence they have the right to unreserve usage of the land in the region. Utaman Dan Fodo conquered during his inferior jihad. This area, according to them, includes many Yoruba lands in Lori, Kogi, Benue, and even Taraba states, which Hesmen claim have been conquered according to the Islamic law. That's why they are ruthless and can even kill because they feel the land belongs to them according to the Islamic law. What a revelation that this has been going on and that some kings and them Traditional leaders will collect money from these headsmen. And they don't collect money from the headsmen directly. They collect the money from the halaji, you know, who owns the cattle. And so the halaji will send his boys into this land. And the boys have to go and make sure that the animals are grazed. That's why when they come there, sometimes most of them don't even understand English. They are very defensive and they feel that um, the deal has been done. They've paid for it and they deserve to use the land. So when they don't get the usage of the land, they are very aggressive. According to the news we are hearing, they are very aggressive. And before you know it, they result to killing. Again, the issues that have been going on, you know, this um, headsmen, many of them cannot speak a word of English. So when they come to such lands, um, they just go into the lands and they don't care into the farms of people, farmlands, and they just begin to carry out different activities. And they feel very threatened because um, apparently, uh, allegedly, as we can hear, the, they've paid for the usage of that land. The transaction has already been done in secret uh, by the Alaji who owns the cattle and have sent them forth for grazing. And the, um, head, you know, the headsmen and the people of the land, by the time they begin to oppose to say, your cattle are destroying our farmlands, your cattle are destroying our produce, our products. They get very angry because they cannot even speak a word of English, you see. So what they do is that they become very angry and they begin to retaliate and then, um, you know, the Fulanese are very bloodthirsty. They don't, uh, they don't have regards for lives of people. They value the cows, apparently, in the history of Nigeria has been proven again and again that they value their cow life more than human life, you know. 
by their actions, by the things they do, you can tell evidently that they value the cow life. Oh, ah, cow, now be human being instead for them. You know, by their actions, the way they behave is a cow that is more important. So it's been allegedly shown that um, these people say they've received money from the kings, the traditional rulers, most times of those places. Hence, they have the audacity and are very bold to go forth into the land and even destroy the farmlands you know and that's why they are very brutal when they come there again the research has been going into to say okay why are they now attacking this land the land of taraba the land of uh, the middle belt benway and then um, parts of um, yoruba land apparently the islamic law told them that if usman and fodo conquered those lands uh -huh, so the land belongs to them so people that are occupying the lands that are illegal people so they should uh, they should remove the people by fire or by force and they can then so that they can reoccupy their lands given to them land that they've conquered apparently there was release of evidence you can refer to my former news of um my etl saying that um the land was given to them by god and that and they are calling all their fulani brothers to come and help them in the fight so that they can repossess nigeria because nigeria was given to them I think you believe that the federal government did not see that as national threat and nobody has even responded or replied in that regard. I tell you what, the president is a Fulani man and um, he's on his second tenor. So he, he cares less about what's going on in Nigeria. All he cares about now is to collect more loans from the World Bank, 22.7 billion US dollars, you know, so that they can adequately, allegedly share the loads properly before he leaves office to stock up why his days in office will be over. You can see for sure that um, he's not really particular about what's happening in Nigeria anymore. Not even in his own home front or his party. Evidence has shown again and again that he's not concerned about what is going on in Nigeria. He's not, not even bothered at all in the least, you know. So these are some of the issues going on in Nigeria right now. Um, research has been shown why these people keep at, um, attacking these lands with so much confidence and um, you know and nobody seems to be saying anything to them you can see from reasons that the president feels the same way they feel hence he cannot uh, object to what they are doing that's one again the people themselves feels that uh, they are entitled to this and that they've been given to, it's been given to them according to the Islamic law um, again it's been shown that the people also feel that um, they have a right to these lands and if and where they don't have a right most times they they are they are the malam who owns the or the halaji who owns the uh, cattle have made uh, trade deals with the traditional rulers of whichever land they go to so they will not want to leave until they feel that um, deal or that discussion or that meeting they've had that money they've paid for they've they've, uh, they've utilized it maximumly uh, that's why they will not leave and they will stay there instead of leaving they'll prefer to you know stay you know so that's some of the things going on but i want to reveal a secret here you know guys that um pork meat pig an abomination to them and send pigs into your land let pigs send pigs in the millions if we release pigs into where they are staying, they will run away. You don't have to chase them away. The Islamic law has said that um, pigs are infidel, uh, they, they cause pollution. And send pigs into those bush where they are hiding. Send pigs, not a small number, send lots of them. Once they speak, pig died in that place. They will not want to stay in that place. They will, they will leave that place for you. So please, go ahead. Release pigs. Go to pig farm. Buy pigs. Put them all over the place. That place becomes a, a polluted place for them. They cannot go into a polluted place. They cannot have association to do with anything that is polluted. Stop re uh, holding back your pigs. Release them. Release them because uh, pigs, kind of, pigs kind of seem like a way forward for these guys. And for those of you uh, leaders who have gone to take money from these people, be very careful. You are putting the life of your people at stake because they don't care. They don't care for life. All they care about is the life of the cattle. So Nigerians, please be wise and be security conscious. And don't allow anybody infringe on your human rights. Be very, you know, be, be very careful. Be security conscious. Alert the 
security agency as not to see any abnormalities so as to prevent and to, uh, prevent, protect and prevent the, protect the lives of those you love and around you. I want to say a big thank you to all of you out there listening. Thank you very much. Please don't forget to like, to share, to subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. Thanks very much for listening. God bless. Have a good day. Bye.